Hey everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to view large collections of data in your Power App. If you enjoy Power Apps, Power Automate, SharePoint, Teams, and Power BI videos, feel free to subscribe because we'll be putting up more videos in those areas and offer my intro. All right, so you're looking to be able to view a large data collection in your Power App. So in my case, I have this uh, SharePoint list that I'm going to be viewing in your Power App. And I'm gonna show you why I'm doing this. It's pretty much just because the way you can currently view collections, uh, the main way I do it at least, is let me go ahead and create a new screen. Let's go ahead and remove these. All right, so let's say on the, on the visible of this screen, um, I, I believe I have to import this data. So let's go ahead and import the marketing projects. Add data, SharePoint. Marketing, marketing projects. All right, so we are able to use this data right now. So let's go ahead and put this data into a collection. And to do that, we're gonna go ahead and label a variable. And we want to import the whole a SharePoint list, so we're just gonna do marketing projects. All right, so it's going to create a collection, actually, I have to do a clear collect, sorry. A clear, clear collect, uh, call marketing. Uh, the COL is a abbreviation for when I use collections. So anytime the screen becomes visible, it's going to import that data. And this is pretty much how I usually view collections i just make it where you double click on your collection so you double click here and it brings you like a little preview of your collection and um, this is pretty nice on smaller collections but when you go try to figure out data issues and um, if you're combining multiple collections and data sources uh, with add columns and everything you want to be able to view the data in case an issue goes wrong and in this way you're not able to see the table headers at the top you scroll down so it can get pretty confusing um, what you're looking at down here. So in my case, I figured out just a easier way to do this. So you wanna go ahead and click on insert at the top and go ahead and click on a data table. So it's under layout. And here I can actually under the items, go ahead and list my collection. So that is all, was it marketing? Maybe. Uh, let me see what I call it. Yeah, all marketing. And now uh, let's go, just go ahead and make this full screen. So we can do parent.with. Uh, I don't want that as the X. I want the X to be zero and I want the width to be parent.with. And it looks like I need to set the Y to zero and then we'll just change the height to parent.height. All right, so let's say I need to diagnose an issue with the title, the status, priority, and project type. So we can go ahead, go to our data fields, uh, add field, go ahead and add the title, the status, a priority. And project type and go ahead and add them. And we're getting a couple errors right here. I believe status is a choice field. So we gotta do dot value. Um, same thing for priority. We can do value, a project type. So this looks, I believe it's a multi-select voice. So we gotta do like a cat function, a value. So that's how you concatenate a multi, multi-choice field. Uh, you just concatenate the item you're using, all the values, and separate it by a comma. So you can see, we can see the whole collection right here. I know uh, it's got the table headers at the top. I can scroll down. I can see everything in it. And I found this very useful when I'm diagnosing data issues because using I I used to use the uh, this little a double click I used to do that and like I would be scrolling down for like 500 rows uh, looking back and forth trying to figure it out and then um I just you know uh, discovered this data table the other day 
I was like, why don't I just toss my collection in there and I'm able to see the whole collection. I can either do, let's say I want to do a filter so I can do like a filter on the uh, collection. So filter. And then uh, let's just say I want status.value equal to a high. I don't know if there is an actual high. It looks like we have in progress. So let's go ahead and do that in progress. And I can see all the in progress ones. So you can do filters on it and um, you'll be able to view all the data pretty easily. And let's say I just don't want this data to be able to show. You can go ahead and set the uh, visible property back to false. And you can just call a data table, data table for testing. And you can have it hitting your power up. So hope you guys enjoyed the quick little video about um, viewing large collections of data. If you like the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And I will catch you in the next one.